We're using driver simulators in driver's ed and they, uh, they help us you learn how to drive because they warn us of things. We did an intersection lesson today, learning how to handle intersections because they're fast, they're you know, kind of fast paced and they're secluded area. So you needed to know how to scan and you know, do all that kind of stuff. Obviously this is the best way for a student to learn um, really um, not just the techniques of driving, but various hazards. Um, so they can learn, you know, in a safe environment, they can learn all their skills on this uh, before taking it out onto the road. So at the very, very end, it usually like tells you like your percentage and like what you did wrong. So like on the last one, I just got a 97% and it'll tell you at the very, very end. And then it'll give you a check mark for the lesson. Basically everything is the same, you know, the gas pedals, the same, the wheel. When you turn it, it vibrates every time you go above a railroad track or anything that would normally vibrate. If you hit a curb, it vibrates. Um, everything is amplified, so if an emergency vehicle is coming down, it's way louder than it should be, just to warn you. Um, and everything is kind of happening at once. And I'll be honest, I have failed a couple times <laughs> um, just because I wasn't paying attention. I think one of the Really, one of the coolest features is um, one of the later lessons, I think it's lesson 14, it's a lesson on distracted driving. And we all know that distracted driving is probably the biggest problem on the roads today, especially with teenagers. Um, but they actually are, um, the, they bring their own cell phone back with them. Uh, the simulator asks for a, a code for their cell phone and it, it, it actually sends messages back and forth between their phone and the simulator and they've got to try to you know, navigate the roads and send text messages back and forth. And it, it really teaches them the concept that it's really, really unsafe to be texting and driving. Here, it gives us actual tips that can actually help and stand safe and being cautious on the road. And it gives us insight on stuff that can actually happen on the road. And it really helps a lot. So we're lucky to have them here. I was at the uh, Madsia conference and that's our Missouri driver ed uh, workshop that we, uh, we, we meet every year. It turns out that the company that uh, we bought the simulators from sent out this email saying, hey, look at what Pattonville did. They bought these simulators and they're using them in their driver's ed program. So like a textbook would be kind of boring and I feel like, like this is like fun and like it helps a lot like with the driving because we did this before we did the actual driving and I realized like how similar it is to actually driving. Mostly we've been driving in neighborhoods, at least my group, but this kind of shows how dangerous it can be without actually getting into a crash in real life. So like it, sometimes it forces you to take a turn too fast just so you can see how it is. And I think that's, you know, one of the goals of uh, this simulation room is to, to make, it, make it fun and um, obviously in a learning environment.